do, do. I'm just going to wait for a few more people. I just wanted to do a little chat for the month, the last day of November. Last day of November. I am cutting out um, a tester bag, so I'm putting all the pattern pieces together before I uh, cut out interfacing and some woven fabrics. It's a gloomy day here in Maryland. My hair looks so much lighter in the camera than it is in person. Or maybe I need to get my eyes checked. Either one. Okay, I see some people on there. Hola, hello, and good morning. I can't believe today is the last day of November. That is so crazy. Tomorrow is December. That's crazy. The year went by so fast. So I wanted to not bounce you around. Um, I wanted to hop on and just like have small little chat uh, about everything that's coming out in the month of December and what, how the advent calendar openings and everything's going to work because I told you before, I have two avid calendars and a small one coming and it was only supposed to be one, but my husband was being my husband and got me another one. So I wanted to talk about that, what bags I'm going to be making in the month of December, um, what's going on over the Patreon right now and just talk. Cause we're going to be in December tomorrow. That is bananas. Um, so tomorrow we're going to be, Tomorrow I'm dropping um, the Holiday Armadillo from Sincerely Jen. I'm, my dog is, he, when he walks, it sounds like a grown teenage guy just walking around. He's so big. He weighs like 150 pounds. Um, so we're, I made this and I thought it would be really cute because if you already have stockings, you're like, Chanel, I already have stockings. If you go to any holiday parties or you're giving out any holiday gifts, um, I thought this filled with like chocolate or candies or a wine bottle is a perfect gift, especially if you have someone in your life that has like a, a sports team or a fandom or they love the color pink. Hi, Eve. So I thought it will be really great. Um, the pattern is $3 and something cents on Sincerely and Jen. Good morning, Jamie. Um, but if you're in her Facebook group, she has a coupon code for it to be absolutely free. So, uh, tomorrow I'll have in my, um, the post where it will have her Facebook group. If you're in it, then just go in there and you can get the coupon code and the pattern's absolutely free. And you also can show off your makes from Sincerely Jen. If you don't want to be part of the Facebook group, the, the pattern's under $4. I want to say like three eighty five dollars or something. I don't remember the, um, the exact amount because I'm in her group and I got it for free. <laughs> Um, for other bags I'm doing, I'm going to be doing the Lucy from Sal, um, Sally Tomatoes. I'm going to be doing Candu. Good morning. Then you know what the weather looks like right now. It looks, it's kind of gloomy, but the sun's kind of peeking out a little bit in Maryland. <laughs> um, so we're going to do the Lucy from Sally Tomato, uh, the Retro Tech bag from Candu, and the Itty Bitty Bowler bag. Those are the ones we're doing on this in in the facebook um not in the facebook in the youtube world um as well as every day i'm, I'm trying to figure out a good time to do my lives in in december because the way i figured it, it either will be easier for me to film it and then post it or just do a live and i can open up the stitch supply um 25 days of christmas and so yours like back to back and give you my honest feedback on each day I think it might be, do, it'll be better to do a live because the video recording, I am. <laughs> okay, let me, I'm going to be 100% with you. My intros and outros are done by my 12-year-old daughter, Hope. All editing is done by my husband, Kendall. I just film and then I give it to them. So it might be better for me just to pick a time to go live every day so you can see the advent calendars. And there's so many. 
have you seen the um sally tomato one they had the cutest thing where they were putting them together like they were el little elves putting it in the shop i feel so i wish i would have got that one it looks like it's really magical the first seat the first year last year was really amazing but this year i got stitch supplies and so yours so yours is the this is her first year doing it too she only had 50 boxes um so that's what we're doing over there if you're in my patreon right now we're there's a pull up for what bag we're going to modify oh yeah that would help tremendously I, I think I have, I think that might be something I need to do just to go live because I, I like to read each comment and like I'm scrolling, I have a moderator would be really good. Cause it only will take a few moments or two, no more than five minutes. Um, cause it took five minutes for me and my whole family just to go around the table and show what we got. But these, these two are more like sewing specific. So I know you will want to probably see it because that's the reason why I got them is because I, there's not a lot of whole, there's not a lot of sewing um, advent calendars. With that being said, if you're like, hey, I want an advent calendar and it is not, I have one day until a, <laughs> December, I believe Fireweed Stitch has advent calendars. I know Zorel has calendars. I don't know. If, I'm trying to think. There's one other person and I can't think of their name that has uh, sewing advent calendars, but those two people do have sewing calendars. I've never purchased I haven't calendar from them before, but again, I'm all about opening up a little gift each day, making your, like, you know, making your day be happy or get a chocolate one like my daughter is doing. She's big on chocolate. <laughs> um, so over on the Patreon, they're voting on the bag of the month that we're going to modify in the month of December. Bianca's running the league. I did put the picture in the community thing. I, I modified it to look like the Dooney and Burke. And that's what, if that one wins, that's what's going to happen. If um, the Catalina wins, we're going to be modifying it to have that beautiful front pocket. And I have it, it's also in the back. I had the bag right in front of me. I don't even know where it is now. <laughs> it has a really, it has a different front and back pocket. And um, there is a couple people that are making them into slings. And I thought we can give that a go too. turn that into a sling. I think that would be pretty awesome it's a nice size bag um the other bags are not in the running so those are the two um that are in the running but bianca is taking the lead and if we do bianca we're going to be doing some work because there you're going to learn how to extend patterns and how to like modify oh ooh, six degrees i'm not complaining it's i'm not complaining about the cold because i live in maryland it, it gets cold but not like six degrees cold that often there's only like a handful of times that i've seen it under under 19 or 14 degrees <laughs> um but also we don't get extremely hot either because i originally i'm from california and i lived in the ie and oc and i know what it's like to have 110 days and i also lived in arizona good times with 119 and 120 degrees <laughs> I'm not one for heat. I, I don't mind the cold. Um, so we have that. There's also going to be a video tutorial for a new bag that that's going to be coming out in about a week or two. So there's a lot of things going to be hitting you in the on the YouTube channel, on the Patreon part. We're like I said, we're going to modify one of these two bags, and I have a really cool skill builder. Last month's skill builder for the top tier, they got to learn how to make welt pockets. I have a really really cool idea for this. Um, skill builder for this month too and also i'm thinking with the can do i i get a lot of people asking me how i cut things out and i thought it'll be really fun to do live stream me cutting that bag out because there's a lot of components to that bag so you can see how i interface how i do things i'm kind of a chaotic person but when i get in the flow of cutting there's like no stopping me and I, I actually, I actually agree that I might need a moderator. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to hop on and say that because this is the last day of November. The last day of November. I keep thinking there was a 31st. I don't know why I do that to myself every year. I know there's not, but <laughs> I'm like, no, no, tomorrow's not the first. So with that, oh, duh, the biggest thing for the December 1st to December 12th, I'm going to bring to you a different um, small business and light. Some of the small businesses 
um, gave like really cool coupon codes so that you can get a discount off of merchandise. There's some, there's one person and I didn't ask, so I didn't ask anyone else that is giving at the end of the 12 days, I'll be giving them a really cool gift that is pretty freaking awesome that I, it made me smile when they offer it because I know every single sewist would appreciate this gift. Good morning. Um, so, uh, each day I'll bring you a different, um, like pe small business and explain to you what they have and show you what products I have purchased before in the past, what they have available. If they have anything special for the month of December. Yeah. I really thought it like July after July just went boom. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm really excited about that because um, there's a lot of right now, there's a lot of small groups that are doing like holiday gift exchange. And I feel like it's really easy for us. So it's to make a quilt, make a garment, make a bag for family and friends. But when we're inter like interchanging with somebody else that is crafty, um, it could be a little bit more difficult. So I thought, let me highlight some of these groups and you might be able to find a gift for the last minute or the perfect gift that you want to give somebody that you know that's in the community and I like there's there's I wish I could do one for every day because 12 people the 12 people I, I reached out to they all said yes and they're people that I personally buy stuff from all the time and I like I said there's some really cool coupon codes and one or two businesses um, has a prize that at the end of the 12 days I'm going to give away. So make sure you watch. Um, if you can't watch it live, watch it when you get home or whenever you have a chance because there'll be something like, oh, tell us your favorite cookie or something, and it'll be a random winner. Um, and I don't, it'll be open up from that time that I do the live until the next time I do the live. So it'll be 24 hours. Like, so if I did it at 10, it will close like at nine or 10 the next day. And then I'll, I'll choose a random winner live. It's not, um, they're not every business at this, but a few did. And I was really surprised and humbled and grateful that they would do that because that's what the holidays are all about. Right? So tomorrow's is pretty, it's pretty cool because it ties into one of something that we're doing this month. So tomorrow morning at four o'clock Eastern time, uh, AM, I will have the ho holiday armadillo stocking pattern up. <laughs> this, this, this video is funny because I literally dropped one of the hills and <laughs> you literally see me pop down, crawl underneath my table to go get it. So that happened Two with this, the only modification we did, we did everything exactly the same except in the pattern they only have this front the the toe box and the heel on one side i do it on both because i make christmas stockies like a mad dog around this time oh thanks <laughs> um i um i in everyone's family is so different some people have all their stockings going to the left some people have it all the way to the right so i wanted to have it on either side because when I give this person this gift, it it won't be like, okay, your all your family stockings are to the right and yours is only to the left. So it just it's easier that way. So we do mirrored images of these two. Um the reason why I picked sincerely a Jen's is one, you can get it for free if you join her Facebook group. Two, her patterns are written short, sweet, and to the point. And I like that style. And three, she's the only stocking I've ever seen where this is like cotton and this one, mine is black and white. My printer is acting crazy. Um, the, the, the cuff, the heel and the toe box are vinyl. Right? Scrap buster. <laughs> so I used actually scraps of cork. So I'm really, it's really cute and you'll see it in the, you'll definitely see it pop up. So if you are on Patreon, you already can see it. I put it on out two days ago so you can see. Everybody else will be out tomorrow at 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. Um, and yeah, that's it. Does anyone have any questions? We went over like a lot. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I got the HP shirt at, well, my husband got the HP shirt at Costco after one of my friends got it. They're like, they have these shirts that they're, it's actually a pajama. 
yeah, I wear pajamas. <laughs> so, like, um, and they were at the Costco last year. She was like, they have HP pajamas at Costco. And so every year now he goes like in November to see they have a different HP adult pajamas because yeah, that happens. There's, there's, <laughs> I like to give gag gifts to my husband. There's this like, uh, place on, it's like a, a Spencer's, but not Spencer's. And it's a onesie that's HP and I'm going to give it for him. And it's going to be hilarious because he's six foot four. So most things like that won't fit him. <laughs> he will just look at me and hold it. Look at me and hold it. <laughs> so that is it. So, all right. Yeah, do that. I'm to, like, sh I appreciate any, whenever I look for a bag designer and I've never worked for them, I've never worked or sewn or did see, like made any of their patterns. The first pattern I always get is a free pattern because I like to see if we, um, if we can, um, if, if I can vibe with you. Because you can't, I'm honestly, I can't. There's some pattern designers that even though they have the most beautiful bags, their writing style like intimidates me a little bit and I won't make their bag because I'm intimidated by it. That, and there is nothing against them. It's just, it's kind of like books. Not everybody's going to be like, I love this book. I mean, it is what it is, but I like Sincere Legion because I, she's short and straight to the point. And it's just weird, like you, but you guys all know, like my one of my favorite um, designers is Orosa, and her books are really detailed orientated. So when I make her patterns, I really appreciate it because the little small minute things can help me not mess up the bag the first time. Sincerely, Jen has really simplistic um, pattern designs and wording, and you just feel comfortable. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it, and there's some, if it, like, there's some that, like, the patterns are supposed to be relatively easy, and I'll be, like, six hours later, I'm still making this bag, and, <laughs> but, no, this one, I believe this pattern, uh, be, <laughs> even though I messed up and dropped pieces all over, but it's, it's me, if I don't drop stuff, it's not, it's a clone, if it's, if I don't mess up, it is a clone, <laughs> um, it's, like, six pieces, eight pieces at the most she doesn't even use interfacing for her um lining slip pockets like the i mean the lining um stocking the lining stocking is the same size as the stocking on the outside it it's really simplistic yes i have adhd and i'll be <laughs> it, it's something there but, but there's so many designers that like kind of understand that um it just, it, I also have to be in the mood, like for me to do a Maggie 55, I will literally have to have no bags to make on a Friday and Saturday because it's like studying for an exam and it's worth it. Like at the end, you feel like really accomplished. You're like, I did that. Yeah. But man, I, Maggie, Maggie 55 is hard for me for whatever the reason may be. And she has the most, literally the best videos to her, um, her patterns I've ever seen. I learned so much from her videos. Like most of my edge coating style is from, from her. Like a lot of people will talk about like oxidation of uh, edge painting, letting it breathe for like 15 minutes before you apply it. Like she is really detail orientated in her patterns. Um, but when I read her book first, I literally go to her video tutorial first and then I'll highlight things in the... Um, the pattern that she said to make me remember but that i normally don't have to look for a video but for her i have to i absolutely have to and it's because i'm also afraid to mess up because normally i'm i'm working with expensive some material because she usually works with leather of some sort and i want to emulate it so if you're looking to work for leather with leather try maggie 55 because she has some of the best 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 tutorials within her um pattern i've ever seen like ever hands down she's one of my favorite designers um <laughs> oh 
Oh, that's so awesome. No, thank you. Like, yeah, the that one was weirdly to me, the or <laughs> the aura was a travel bag. Sometimes the most complicated bag comes easier to me. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got even though I made the Magdalena, you've seen my Magdalena get made. The mini Magdalena, I was like for the longest time because I was trying to show you how to make the perfect circle. I literally like, made three of those because they kept looking like weird peanut in ms like <laughs> they weren't perfectly circle and it took forever versus or was a travel bag it just came, like i think with with alexis and a lot of people don't see this is that all of her patterns kind of congeal like so the pocket style that you have in the oral rosa travel bag is the same pocket style that you have in the catalina she does things like this and like it once you do it once then you're like oh i can make another bag like the mag um the Esperanza is it Esperanza her first one good morning um and the Erica Bowler bag which I make that bag like <laughs> I get messaged like what is your top selling bags the Aura Rosa Erica Bowler bag and the Ojima from Kentry Cal slash Bedhog she that those video like <laughs> those bags it seems like I never ain't never gonna make a left and um so sweetness park sling men eat those bags up it, i made my husband one in uh saints because he's from louisiana and that's his favorite football team and when i did that once i get a lot of people messaging me can you make blah 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 but they want the sling because they can wear it across their body that's why i wanted to do the catalina um i seen uh um lauren was live yesterday and she um, made a sling and then she said that she was inspired by Carrie if you're in the Aura Rosa she, Carrie made a really took the Catalina and made it into a sling for her husband holy moly that bag whoo stunning like every time she makes something I like totally fangirl out she's impeccable with her taste and her sewing skills um so that's why I was rooting for the Catalina because I think the Catalina has so many possibilities because of its shape it looks like it's big but it's not too big of what bags just like the random ones i'm saying or like most of the bags i mentioned i've made except i uh except the so sweetness and the maggie 55 oh so the um i don't even know where to put a list to be honest with you i can say them again for you the maggie 55 she's a designer um i haven't made any of her i can't make any of her bags for a tutorial but she has her own tutorials within um <laughs> the pattern and any of her bags you should definitely try if you give it a go she's one of the best teachers Oh, I'm so sorry that you've been sick. I hope you get better really fast. I know there's tons of colds going around. Our house got freaking strapped twice. Okay. Um, yeah, our house got the flu twice and strapped twice. My kids, are, they go to school, they get all the germs, and they bring them all here back. Super fun. <laughs> um, for the bag, just so, again, the bags that we're making on YouTube... For the month of December, you're going to be making the holiday armadillo stocking. Um, you're going to be make we're going to be making the Lucy by Sally Tomatoes. Um, tomato. I always put an S on it. I don't know why. Um, the can we're going to make can do the retro tech, the bigger one that holds a laptop. I'm all I'm like really excited to make that one. <laughs> um, and the itty bitty bowler bag by So Yours. And if you're on Patreon, again, cast your vote because tonight I'm going to, tonight around 10 p.m., I'm going to close down that poll. Uh, right now, 66% of you are leaning to the Bianca from Clutch and Couture so we can modify it. If we do that one, we have a lot of assignments, a lot of interacting going on because that's, that's, it's a fun one. 
it, we're going to be doing math. <laughs> it's a fun one and it's worth it. So we have all of those in every, every day for 20, the next 25 days. You'll see my face doing lives opening the advent calendars. And December 1st through 12th, you'll see me talk about different um, small businesses within our sewing community. And if they have any special promotions for the month of December or what item I'm featuring, what I think is really cool to do for yourself or um, give to another. You know, there's that. So there's a lot of stuff happening in the month of December. So I guess that is it for now. I will see you manana. I will look at what time will be best because no, around this time there's no packages getting mailed so you don't hear my dog or you won't see him bring in his dog bowl or a dog toy to get my attention. <laughs> he usually sleeps between 10 and 12 so no one said that a giant dog will be equivalent to having a one-year-old. <laughs> so I hope everybody has a really awesome day okay and until the next time we see you. Happy sewing. Bye.